Hey guys, what is going on? Infinite Z PvP here, and I just want to say I hope everyone had a great Christmas, a great New Year's. It is 2017, and I can't wait to see what Star Wars has or Bioware has waiting for us down the track. It's going to be absolutely awesome. First, while we're talking about 2017 and what's going to be implemented in 2017, one of my biggest things I really want to see is 8v8 ranked back into War Zones. I think 8v8 ranked is something that is definitely needed. It was taken out three years ago, roughly then. And I've heard a lot of people wanting it back, it's definitely something that is needed. I think Bioware have really uh, pushed for rank 5.0 with command crates making it easier to gear per playing ranked. And I think with we've got solo queues, we've got team queues, that wasn't implemented with 8v8 rank. I think it would really work now with solo queued uh, 8v8 and even with group queued on 8v8 rank, it's going to work. It, really pushes for players to stay in the game and use the forums to organize tournaments that's what happened in the past it can still happen now i think with bioware pushing for a larger population base back with the game making gearing making gearing harder is something that i really want to see bioware pushing for 2017 8 v8 ranked let me know what you guys think um i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget, if you did, like, subscribe, and share. It really helps me out a lot. Any thoughts, drop them below in the comment section. I really want to hear what you guys' opinions are on 8v8 ranked. Should it come back? Should it stay away? Bioware did say it was going to come back when they removed it. I want to hear your thoughts on it. I think it's going to be great. I think the balance is a lot better. It's going to be a fast-paced gameplay 8v8 ranked. Um, it's just going to be good in general. I really want to see it back. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I've just got some Sorcerer healing here. And yeah, hope you guys had a good New Year's, and I can't wait to see what 2017 holds for Star Wars The Old Republic. See you later, guys.